at this. Right here next to us. It's like one of the more senior cows. She was just about to give us a bit of a house at there. I see a calf with her as well. So they're just also wanting to figure out if we had to threaten them or bother them. But I think the majority of them are very quickly learning that we're not here to bother them. You can see a couple of bulls walking past the front here. Look at this cow. They're not minding us too much. Look at the little one. A few months old, probably about six, eight weeks maybe, just over two months at the most. You can see the little horns just starting to form. Sticking close to mum, of course, during this uh, sort of slightly more active, more frenzied activity around the water hole. You have to be careful not to, to get uh, separated from mum. That, of course, can happen. It happens all the time. They can find each other very easily again through calling. The calf can recognize the mother's call and, and vice versa. Also scent. But uh, the best, of course, is just to stick close to mum. Don't get separated to start with. <laughs> Maybe don't have the horns yet, but certainly this little one has already got the ears of a buffalo. Look at that. Love their ears. Quite big ears, actually, as well, if you think of the size of the animal. Obviously, they've got very good hearing, both for picking up on danger, but also to communicate within the herd. If that little calf can hear its mother calling amongst five or six hundred other buffalo making noise, it needs to be able to hear well. I'll go a little bit, oh, actually let's just spend another minute looking at these, it's so nice for them having a look at us as well, just watch them for a bit more, watch this little youngster, <laughs> beautiful calf, then we'll just go close and have a look towards the water as well. standing around. Let's go a little bit forward. Oof. I was going to say earlier not too many flies around, but I think we were just on the right side of the wind. Suddenly there's plenty of flies. Enough for the buffalo and for us. From our left hand side, that's straight ahead of us. Just get my head out the way. There's more females, more youngsters. That's the youngster we looked at earlier. It looked no, a different one, a little bit bigger. Here's a rather sneaky juvenile still trying to suckle or still suckling. It's getting older now. It should be very, very soon that the mother will wean it. Basically, just not allow it to suckle from her. Maybe mother doesn't have too much milk left anymore just from the way the calf is putting effort in.
it's quite strange we can actually every time the calf sort of uh, pushes on that on that seat a bit you can actually hear it they're so close to us you can literally feel the buffalo around us you can hear each hoof you can hear the sand cracking you can hear that calf's nose and muzzle sort of knocking against the mother's udder look at that very very close to us even though i'm glowing a little bit <laughs> this one is very very close to us now we're talking maybe four or five feet away from the car six feet at the most Just to the right of that, we're sitting slightly higher up, just filtering away now, but lots of buffalo down there as well. So truly a big herd this. big bull there look at those horns also because we're sitting slightly higher up you really can appreciate the width of the bosses as well the bosses being those big shields sort of on the forehead itself of course the hook parts of those horns very handy for when they're fighting with other buffalo but uh, the sharpness of it probably more is the protection on many occasions lions have come off second best from buffalo and when they get uh, a good right to left hook from those horns they really can uh, not only cause damage, they can even kill lions. Look how incredible those waves are. If you look at the movement, obviously it's a reflection of that. The buffalo is making it quite interesting. But if you look at the movement of the waves, how regular it is. Waves are quite interesting things if you start thinking about the concept of a wave. If it wasn't for waves, we wouldn't be able to talk to you right now literally everything from the waves coming from our voice box to the microphone and then also all kinds of other waves between here and wherever you are it's just interesting to see it manifesting in water good way to study it now it looks incredible huh? sure hope someone's recording this we have an infrared camera so we can't record anything game is doing this all live keep in mind maybe for those of you that haven't joined us often before this is happening right now as I'm speaking Mark and myself are playing around here just with using the light a little bit more and trying to get the experience of being out here and sharing that with you oh, and he's just walking past the edge of the water there the relative edge to where the spotlight is Let's have a look at what's causing these waves, Marco. I just hear some splashing in the water again. Lots of catfish. Those are all catfish, all those white marks you see. All catfish heads. Now if we go for it, look at that. Loads of them. Right, now let's see what's splashing. Probably a humgo. I thought I heard something else. No, no it's just a hippo. Oh, there was another buffalo or something in the water. Well, that was awesome. Yo, catfish was a great surprise. Lots of buffalo. We got super close to them as well. 